Hey everybody, so we're back into Minecraft only better, my uh, custom mod pack that I am. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. But I have some certain plans today. And we're going to... Well, this is pretty much like a playthrough. Um, this is Test World 3. But I'm going to be testing to see how the mods interact with each other. Make sure there's nothing too overpowered in either aspect. Too difficult to beat or too difficult to, uh... Or too easy to beat. Um, I'm going to look into different, um... I don't know what, you know what, I'm completely, I'm drawing a blank today. It's still kind of early in the morning, so, okay, you gotta cut me some slack. So, the goal for this episode is, we're gonna need a bigger base. This was nice, and I, I came back to the overworld, I brought all the stuff back with me. Except for my Mawa, I left her over there. I was thinking I should probably, I was gonna bring the incubator over and uh, try to hatch one of the other eggs and have one here. But I decided I'm probably not gonna do that. But it's not that big of a deal. We're gonna get a like a next guy. You know what? Let's let's hold off on that. I'm gonna make a crack hammer so we can uh crush this here um these ores to get double ores. And I don't think it works with every You know, I should have known that wasn't gonna work. I should just use iron, but I have a lot of other uses for iron. Okay. Just type in crack. Stone crack hammer. It's gotta be a stone brick. That's kind of annoying. Alright, we're gonna waste a piece of iron. I'm gonna put this stuff back. So it's been about an hour and 20 minutes yesterday. I mined the bedrock. Started strip mining an area. Crap. Tell me it takes a block of iron. It does. Okay, so guess what? We're gonna make a wooden one. Yay! So I, I mined and cut down trees for a while, and we got some good things to look into here. Um, one. I found, um... Why is this not working? This should be working. That one worked. Maybe it doesn't work on copper. Yeah, drop the hammer. <laughs> see, I thought it worked on everything. Let's see real quick. Uh, but while I was while I was cutting down trees, I found two. Um. Inventory pets chests. I looked inside one, but I didn't do anything. I figured I'll wait till I'm on camera, and then we can open it together. Does it have to be at least an iron hammer? Uh, I guess it's worth the ore doubling in the long run. So we're gonna build a new base, make a colossal chest, check out those two, um, those two inventory pets chests. And move everything over, and maybe go back to mining, maybe, but probably not. We'll we'll see how it goes. But that's that's the goal. You know, this gives us double. So if I want to do something like uh, make, let's go to what is this? Colossal chest interface copper. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna waste it on that. A wooden one, a five by five wooden chest is pretty great. So let's go and type in bronze. Uh, 
doesn't look like a whole lot of options. Okay, six armor. Six armor. So it's the same as iron. I think we'll save it for tinkers. Because it, it does... Bronze has pretty good durability. It gives it uh, a dense uh, bonus. And density uh, as it gets... It's basically the principle of work hardening. So if you know anything about metal, um, the more you work an edge, the harder it gets. So, with bronze. So if you... So if you have a knife made out of bronze, and you take that knife, and you use it as soon as you make it to cut something, you can dull your edge. But if you take that bronze knife, and you pound the edge of it with a hammer, then it gets harder and harder, and your edge will stay longer. But that's just, uh, that's real-life metal. But it, it kind of carries over into Minecraft a little bit, because that's how it gets the dense principle. <laughs> so the spider pet. It eats raw meat, which isn't too bad. And I think you can... Yeah, it gives you a jump boost and you can climb on walls. So if this works, that's going to be great. Let's uh, let's just take this too. We're going to take it all. Now, if, yeah. And all it does is eat meat. So now I can... Now I'm sp spider pig. <laughs> I don't know where that came to, that came to mind. Uh, Pac-Man. Auto eats when you're hungry. Super damage boost. Right click super damage boost. I don't think we're going to use this one. Um, its favorite food being cookies is fine. But I'm pretty sure this will auto eat. If I'm down to, if I get down one hunger bar, it'll eat this and it will restore, this restores like four hunger bars. So there's no, I don't want to waste my good food like that. So I think this one will get packed away until, you know, I have like, all these stacks of watermelon or something. And I take that with me. Then, I've, yeah, I'll do that. Like, I'll wait till I get a ton of, like, really simple food. And I'll put it in my inventory and stick him in the hot bar. So then I'll have that option of, uh, super damage boost. Uh, these two were, those two were in trees I was cutting down. I didn't want to open them with being off camera. Because I felt like, you know, I want to do this. Every waking moment is going to be on camera. Except when I do, like, mining trips. And that's it. Because nobody wants to watch somebody mine a hole for, you know, an hour straight. So it's getting to be nighttime. So we're going to call it a night here. I'm going to pack up some of the, uh, I'm going to put some of the stuff back into the chest uh, I got from the inventory pets chest. And we're going to go sort out an area to build a base. And a colossal chest. So let's see, I need, uh, these are agiocyte rocks, I figured that's going to be, um, that's going to be what I make the base, like the floor out of, and then other stuff is just stuff I found mining, except the pork chop obviously, speaking of which, do I have any raw meat? I probably cooked it all, because I do that like right away. Yeah, I cook all the meat as soon as I get it, so. Um, so I'm using these as building blocks. Got four stacks of agiocyte. Now, I made two stacks of holy stone bricks. Which is probably going to be the foundation. And then I was thinking I was going to do, like, maybe make the more cosmetic doors and stuff out of the sky root planks. It's, uh... So like, I, I can't make, I don't think I can make these, yeah, I can't make these special, awesome, decorative blocks. <coughs> which, <coughs> excuse me, which is really a shame, because that'd be a nice addition to, to, you know, that'd be a nice addition to this whole mod pack. And we're going to use a lot of the Skyroot stuff, because I think that's going to look really cool in the overworld. Something you don't see every day, so I can, like, spot my base from a mile away, I suppose. So, let's see, I guess we can make, yeah, I guess we'll make the, um,
Yeah, it doesn't give me a lot of options. So we're going to go and do... We'll make the doors out of this. But we're going to make... Hey, he gave me string. But he's all depleted now. I need raw meat. We'll make the doors out of this. And we'll grab a rather large amount of regular old oak wood planks. And I guess I could, like, do a bunch of, like, smooth stone. But uh, that seems like a waste of coal and stuff. And I know we're doing pretty good on resources right now, but there's no point in wasting them. <laughs> okay, so this is what we, that'll be our building materials, because that's all we all we have and now we need a location where can I build this that's gonna look halfway decent I'm thinking we could just build it here take this all down one level and then cover all this over and do it that way because I don't want to be too far away from my mine, because my mine's at bedrock level right now. And I learned my lessons trying to build a house on a mountain. There's too many bad, too many stupid things that happen. Oh, my spider pet doesn't even work unless I have meat. That's sad. So I guess I'm going to go make a shovel. I'm going to drop this whole dirt level down one. And then I'm going to span this across to the water. And then we're going to build the house here. Let's take care of these trees first. I didn't do that. Maybe I'll find another inventory pets thing. That'd be really cool. You're not an inventory pet. I was actually kind of surprised to find two of them so close together. So, if I found a third one, I'd be really surprised. So let's get rid of this one yet. Then we gotta get us a shovel because it's gonna make life significantly easier. Drop this down one or two. Maybe we drop it down two. It'll give us a little bit extra dirt to play with to fill in that giant hole. I need another stick. I guess we'll go with a piece of iron. And if we have to, I'll make a stone one afterwards. I'm trying to be conservative. But, gotta do what you gotta do. Make it the least amount boring as possible. So, we're gonna go down to this level here. Should give me enough room to, to play with. <coughs> but I do want to start getting into tinkers as well, as soon as I can. But I figured the new base with extra space is going to be probably the top priority. Because I'm not setting up a tinker situation in that, that little hut. And I'm not doing it like I did in my very, very first test series and make everything and then have to move it all. That's just, that's annoying. You are the sacrifice for my spider pet. It's kind of good that the spider pet gives you string because I didn't put any way to get string in this mod pack. You kill spiders, 
you break cobwebs, and that's it. Like, your gear's no flax. Uh, you can't revert wool. Um, it's just... You find it, and that's it. Which is kind of, kind of bad. Like, I didn't really, I didn't really think that through. But in retrospect, getting string in the real world isn't that easy, you know, in, in this sense of the word. You can't just go... There's no Walmarts in Minecraft, so... So you gotta, like, you know, do what you gotta do. Plus, I mean, what all do you really use string? Well, that's dangerous. <clears throat> what all do you really use string for anyway? I mean, fishing rods, bows and arrows. And then, um, I guess, tripwire situations if you're doing traps. But I mean, really, I mean, having a ton of string can be nice, but you really don't need a ton of string. Kill that thing. It drops glowstone. It's dangerous though. Yeah, jump boost. Take that. Those guys can pack a little bit of a punch, but they they drop glowstone. And glowstone isn't something easy to come by unless you get to another. Uh, my shovel's gonna break. I was hoping I'd be able to clear this area with one iron shovel. Yeah, there goes that. How much more do we got? A uh, pretty good amount yet. Got about halfway through. I'm probably going to regret having this uh, chasm under my house. Probably going to have spiders and zombies and stuff spawning, but... I mean... I really don't want to fill it all in, so... And I don't want to move... I don't want to make a base too far away from this base, because then i got to go further to move everything, and then my mind's right outside. So, I mean, I, I can't say that I thought all this through, but... I mean, it is what it is. Considering that's a closed off cavern, I can just light it up. That should deter monsters from spawning. So I planted some of the, um, Aether trees in the overworld, and they haven't grown yet. So I'm not sure. I don't think they'll grow. Like, you need to use the Aether soil. But I don't think they're going to grow either way. Like, they've been there since I started the mining trip. So as soon as I got back from the Aether, I planted them. And they still didn't grow, so I don't think they're going to grow. Should we kill the, the behemoth thing over there? That's probably a bad idea. As I go charging into battle. You know what? Let's, that's not. If the, I'd kill him if it was just him, but two skeletons? I don't think that's a good idea. Crap. 
Now you're gonna be able to get in the door with the spider pet. If he's still there when it's daylight, I'll go over and charge him. Come here. Shambler is his name. And he's kind of tough. He's really kind of tough. Oh, well, not tough enough. I can't believe he took that many hits. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm gonna completely cover up this hole, so we're gonna do... I think that's... we we'll go one more. Yeah, we'll do five more rows. Like that. No, my spider pet's out again. And at this rate, he's not going to really be worth it. I mean, I'd rather have wall climbing than string. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's throw that there. Okay, now that cave never existed. Problem solved. Now, I want to go and clear this back about another three or four more. But it seems that we're running... We're, we're running a little... We're taking a lot of time to do this. So... Uh... Oh well, you know what? I never really shot an episode of me actually building, so we're doing it. You guys don't want to watch it? You don't have to. I'm not sponsored. Um, I always wanted to do uh, videos of me building, like, but I don't have like the time lapse technology, so like if I messed up or you know, if I was building something really big, it'd be really kind of boring for you guys.
I should leave this hole open to fishing. Be the fishing hole in the center of my house. Nah. I ain't doing no fishing. There's an uh, ancient warfare machine to do that for me. I kind of like Minecraft fishing, but it, it just it takes too long, and there's so many other things I could be doing. All right. So I want it to be. I think that's a big enough space. I think I'm going to take the center back here. And I'm going to dig out like a 7x7 seven seven area. And put my chest right here. I think that's the plan. So i have to get rid of a couple more of these trees. I think just these two will be alright. And then when I find the center mark, I'll just put the big colossal chest right here. So let's um let's lay the perimeter. I think we're gonna do I think we could pretty much follow the borderline, but I'm gonna do it like two in. So like here. The whole way around will be uh, a two uh, pieces of dirt between the, uh, well, you know, you get it. You see what I'm doing. Let's, um, kind of round it out a little bit. So they're over there, uh, still tearing down the neighbor's house, what's left of it. They are really taking their time on that project. Let me see where we at. Alright, I could be alright with that. Let's drop this guy down here. And get rid of this one. And then we're going to draw this straight back. Actually, no, I don't want this to be too away. I want it to be tight against that wall. Yeah. I like that. It's a different shape. <clears throat> you know what would be great right now? A builder's wand. Or building gadgets. That would be fantastic. I hope I have enough of this stuff. I'll have to go back and get more. I'm not quitting now. I didn't really calculate it out because I didn't know how big the base was going to be. Or what my plan was going to be. But. This looks like it, uh. This looks like it's going to suffice.
What is going on? Here we go. It doesn't want to work. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with this. Is it a lag? I can't really tell if it's lagging or like my mouse is being funky cuz my mouse is funky sometimes. It does funky mouse things. We got one stack left. I don't know if we're going to have enough. Yeah, I'm willing to bet we're not going to have enough. I'm going to have to get another uh, another stack of this stuff. I mean, I guess it was kind of close. I mean, ultimately, it was... I wasn't too far off the money. No, I was worried I was going to be able to get in the door because of the spider pet. Then I was like, oh, the spider pet needs more meat already. The spider ate an entire chicken today, but he's, just, he's still hungry. Let's go and see. Do we have any more of that stone? No, we do not. Alright, so it looks like that's done. Alright, episode over, guys. Finished. I'm nah, just kidding. Um, I'll, mine, I'll go mine more of that off camera and finish the floor. Uh, we'll go ahead and make the colossal chest. So it's a log in the center of wood planks. And then I need to make one of these. So let's see, 25... 25 and then oh, my brain all right so 25 and 25 will be the top and the bottom that's 50 of these right there so wait no yeah five 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 yeah 25 and 25 will be 50 right off the bat and then three hollow perimeters of five would be 15 and 15 would be 30 so that'd be 80 and then there'd be 9 and 9 would be 80 and 18. 98 of these is what I'll need to make a 5x5 five five chest, I think. But then I'll have to make one into this. And I'll have to make one into maybe one or two into this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, let's, I already have all the wood on me. So let's go over here and pop in that and let's do let's we'll just do this and we'll throw this in there gives us 32 all right uh bam bam no bam and bam will give us another 46 We'll just do that. And do 16 is 32 more. It's up to 64. 78. But let's build with that, because for some reason I think my math is off. It's a hollow 5x5 five five cube. So it should be 5 and... Or 25 and 25. I feel like my math is off. I don't know what I did wrong, but... I, I definitely did something wrong. I don't remember needing this many. Now I'm going to do two ports. Because... I'll have one for uh, simple storage units. And I'll ha I'm going to do a second one to maybe like input things. Like when I get the mining quarry. May I can have it just directly input into the other thing, which I'm pretty sure I cannot do because simple storage units does not work with ancient warfare. But I'll, I'll figure something out. I'm a smart guy. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a smart guy. 
All right, let's do that, and we'll grab these guys, and we'll throw these guys down here. Actually, I'm gonna need the shovel. And let's go, uh, let's go make us a colossal chest. If I need more, I'll just, you know, come get more. It's not a big deal. So, I was thinking I kind of wanted it to be, like, smack dead center. But I kind of think I might just throw it right off of this wall here. Because this wall is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, it'd be perfect to do a five here. So, let's, um, let's see, any one, two, three... Four, five, six, and seven. So it'll give me two spaces of walking room here. And we'll grab this guy, put it down here, and take out this tree. With the correct appropriate tool of choice. And then we're going to level this out. Like so, and I think we'll go as far as doing this too. Just to try to make it look a little little nicer. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks a little nicer. So we're gonna put this smack up against this wall, but we want um let's see. It's gotta be a five, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you know, we'll just use the center one here. So we want that there. And then I think we're gonna do one and then an interface. And then one, two. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works. So then I wanna do two, one, two. We gotta go one, two. All right. Now I think if I'm gonna set up a mining quarry, I think I'm gonna put it on this side. So I'm gonna put the other interface on this side as well. So we'll do that, and then we just gotta fill the rest in with these, which I'm gonna need more. Okay, so it looks like uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 17, 24, 24 more. Get in there. All right, let's see. Um, I need... 24 more, I get 2, so I need 12 of these. The rest can be turned into planks. We can throw these in here. And we can just... I'm not going to have enough wood. Oh, no, I made too many. Oh, well, a little extra is not going to hurt. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. It's one of my favorite quotes. What? No way. I miscounted? Oh well, I need four more. Um, which means... I might- I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I need to go cut down another tree. I mean, I, it was quick math, but I really didn't think I miscounted. Okay, so we need four more, so I need two logs, and the rest can go into these, and that'll be just enough.
I do like when you right. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, when you right click on it with an open hand, it tells you like what's missing. That is a cool little feature. And we got our super colossal in insano chest. Yeah, that, that looks a little nicer. So now as you can see, this has I'm scroll look, I'm scroll wheeling as fast as I can, and look how fast that bar's moving. A five by five chest can pretty much as long as you're not doing some super, you know, MLG pro crap where you're, you know, cranking out sixty four thousand bars of iron an hour, this thing will hold everything you everything you need for the probably the entire game. And it's a relatively cheap um, recipe as well. But um, I think I'm probably going to call this quits. Um, I think I'm going to go and probably cut down half of this forest and mine up a bunch more of these here skystone bricks or whatever they're called holy stone bricks and um finish the base i'll either like finish it and build it on my own the rest of it or i will get all the materials and finish it on camera but i think you guys get the point now i got the layout i'm gonna pretty much go straight up with uh oak wood maybe throw in some windows and place the doors. The door's probably going to go here, and the door's probably going to go back over there somewhere. So then I have two exits. And that's going to be pretty much pretty much the gist of it. And then I, I always leave it open for expansion to go upwards, because I put... I don't play a mod pack without putting the elevator mod in. I think that is the coolest thing people have ever created. So, like, I'll throw an elevator in the floor, like, here, for a second level. And that'll be... It may be even a basement at some point, but right now this workspace will suffice for most of the things we're going to do for now. But I'll move everything over, get the uh, the floor and the walls built, and stock up on some more wood. Because I'm going to need probably 12 stacks to do this house. I'm probably just going to go with your your average oak wood stuff. But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, right now we're we pretty much met the goal for the day so we checked out the inventory pets chests we laid the foundation of the new base we did the colossal chest that's, that's pretty much where i wanted to go with this so thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you next time